You're heading to a supermarket to get a few small items. The self-service checkout is way faster than waiting for people to unload their huge shopping carts. Analyzing now. But this loud voice from a machine, commanding over and over again, spoils all the appetite. Analyzing now. I have some good news for you. You can turn it off. Take a closer look at the screen. You'll probably see a volume button at the bottom. Use your finger to mute the annoying polite voice once and for all. Not all machines have this hidden option though, but it's definitely worth checking out. Usually, a sunflower oil bottle has this weird inner cap. Most people remove the entire top layer and throw it away. But there's actually a better way to use it. Turn the removed element inside down and put it into the bottleneck. It will make a great dispenser, and you'll never spill more oil than you wanted in your salad. Planning a picnic with your friends in the wild? Forget about the classic picnic basket. We got it all wrong. It's not a basket, but a bucket. Yep, it's way better to put your picnic stuff into several buckets. This will help evenly distribute the weight among all guests. And when you find a nice spot for your picnic and get all the stuff out, turn the buckets over and use them as stools. When the food is over, put the buckets into each other to save space on the way back home. Your toast is getting burnt, but you don't have any kitchen tongs at hand? Take two identical forks. Put them together time to time. Stick them tightly with a rubber band. And voila, your tongs are ready. Ever wondered what this double bottom under the Nutella lid is for? There's only one way to find out. Here's a brand new Nutella jar. Let's remove the white carton circle and then peel off the foil. Surprise! There should be a little knife to cut the gold foil cover. Now you know how to get access to your favorite guilty pleasure without scratching your hands. Don't throw away the glass jar after you're done with Nutella. It can turn into a candle holder or a lantern. Wash it, paint it to your taste, add some decorations or lettering. Glue a decorative rope around the neck of the jar. Set a candle inside the jar or put string lights inside it. No one will ever guess that it used to be a Nutella jar. It'll be our secret. Have you ever wondered why Ritz crackers have ridges? You can use them as a safe knife for cheese and similar soft products like cucumber, ham, and so on. Just roll the cracker as if it were a tiny pizza cutter and press. Now all the ingredients fit on your cracker perfectly. Enjoy your snack. Do you have one of those old baking trays that you never use but still hesitate to throw away? Good news! You can recycle it and make a gorgeous frame for a painting or a picture. There are two ways to do so. Degrease the surface of your tray and attach the image to the bottom. In this case, the frame will stick forward. Or you can flip the tray upside down and the edges will hide behind. Hang this construction on a wall or put it on a shelf. And feel free to use metal paint to give your frame an appropriate color. An old cutting board can make a great frame for a mirror. Use double-sided tape to attach a matching mirror to the surface of your board. Make sure the mirror is firmly glued. And now you can hang it on a wall using the board's handle. Or put it on a cabinet and lean it on a wall. Don't forget to wash and dry the cutting board before beginning this DIY. We don't want the mirror to smell fishy. Another superpower of a cutting board is keeping wires tangle-free. Wrap some string lights around an old wooden cutting board and put it in your closet. The next holiday season, you'll have it completely untangled. A hair dryer can make a great mini vacuum cleaner when you need an emergency cleaning. Cut a plastic bottle and dry it. Put a layer of fabric on the fan of your hair dryer. Then place the fan in the plastic bottle bottom portion. Fix the bottle and attach it to the hair dryer using a plaster. Turn it on and you're ready to clean the mess. You can use a retro gas stove grate to hang your indoor plants. Attach it to the wall with screws or nails. Now you're ready to hang flower pots, string lights, and any other decor items.
If the color of your stove grate doesn't match the interior, you can always fix this using spray paint. Chopsticks and wooden ice cream sticks can also turn into a beautiful panel that will decorate your interior. Glue the edges together to create a grid. You can also put together your name or any other word you want out of sticks. Then wrap the grid around with string lights and enjoy your decor. Don't throw away wrinkled kitchen foil. It can help to sparkle up your day. Crumple identical foil balls and glue them over a glass, a mirror frame, or even a book, and your life will immediately become more glamorous. If you need to sharpen your dull scissors, take aluminum foil and crunch it up into a ball. Sharpen the edges of the scissors right on that ball of foil. Soda bottles are always filled in such a way that there's some space between the liquid level and the cap. That's because these drinks contain carbon dioxide. This gas can expand if the bottle gets heated. If there's no air gap in the bottle, it'll break because of the pressure building inside. Also, when you open your drink, the gases go out in the form of bubbles, and the drink is likely to overflow. The gap helps with this problem, too. Except if you shake it up first, then open it. Now, I've never done that. There are sounds most people can't stand, like the sound of a fingernail on a blackboard or someone scratching a window. Such noise irritates the amygdala. That's a small part of your brain controlling your emotions, including fear and survival instincts. Some cheeses have holes in them. They're called eyes. These eyes are made by bacteria used in the process of production. When cheese is almost ready, these bacteria release carbon dioxide, and this gas forms bubbles that later become the cheese's eyes. See? Cats knock different things over because of their hunting instincts. Your cat is simply checking whether the thing is alive or not, or it might want your attention. Cats are smart and know that humans come very fast when something is broken. When the pizza dough is ready, it gets manually spun in the air. This process removes lumps and creates its circular shape. It's more convenient to bake a round pizza. This way, it gets heated evenly. Plus, it's easier to cut a round pizza into equal parts. There have been reports of raining frogs, fish, and other unusual stuff dating back to ancient civilizations. Strong winds, such as those in a tornado or hurricane, sometimes get so powerful that they can lift up a school of fish or frogs and rain them somewhere miles away. Lightning is never a triangle, straight line, or circle. It always has a zigzag shape. Lightning is an electric current, and it always takes the path of least resistance. Air is uneven and irregular, containing dust particles, gases, and other substances. So lightning just seeks the best way through. Flowers have different colors because of the color pigments they contain. But there are other factors, for example, the amount of light they receive while growing, or the temperature of the environment around them. Even the pH level of the soil can have an impact on flowers' coloration. By tilting their head, dogs try to understand all you're saying correctly. It's the way to adjust their ears to the sounds they hear. It may also be the way to show their empathy to the owner. Or they got something stuck in there. Tickling is bound to cause a laughter reflex, but nothing will happen if you tickle yourself. That's because there will be no element of surprise. Your brain knows what you're going to do. Barcodes speed up the purchasing process. If a barcode consists of 12 digits, the one on the very left is a system identifier. For example, 2 means it's a randomly weighed item. 3 is used for products related to health. The next 5 digits identify the manufacturer. And the following 5 are the product's number. The last one is the check digit. Scanners need it to make sure they've read the code correctly. The song is bound to get stuck in your head if its music is simple, the text is repetitive and short, and the rhythm makes you move. Another reason you might have an earworm is that you hear some songs too often, and your brain can easily detect them. Highlighters are filled with a special semi-transparent fluorescent ink that can glow in dim light. Yellow and light green hues are the most popular because they don't prevent you from seeing the text after black and white photocopying. Photocopiers perceive yellow and light green marks as very pale and don't print them. With age, your hair loses its natural color. It happens because keratin receives less pigment. As people grow older, the pigment cells in their hair follicles gradually vanish. 
and hair becomes gray. Some time passes, and no pigment is produced at all. That's when hair turns white. Trees stop growing at a certain age. It might be because when a tree reaches a particular height, it gets difficult for it to pull water from the soil. Because after that, it needs to pump it all the way to the top, and that's when gravity comes into play. Some trees, like the baobab, start growing out instead of up once they reach their full height. Your own body makes mosquito bites swell and itch. A mosquito breaks your skin. Your immune system perceives the insect's saliva as a foreign substance, so it starts a special reaction to flush the intruder out of your body. A compound produced by the immune system, called histamine, makes the blood flow faster around the bitten area, and it causes the swelling. The histamine also sends a signal to the nearest nerves, which makes the bite itch. Geese usually fly in a V-shaped formation to conserve energy and make sure none of their team members get lost. You can't hum while holding your nose. Trust me. During humming, you exhale air. But when both your mouth and your nose are closed, the air can't escape. The longer you can hum like this is 2 seconds. Then you'll have to open your mouth and catch your breath. Road and construction workers are usually dressed in orange because the bright orange hue is visible even in bad weather. It's the most effective color to attract attention and alert people. No wonder lots of safety jackets and traffic cones are orange as well. Modern-day perfectly round coins used to be shaped randomly or have no shape whatsoever in the past. But dishonest people stole valuable metals the coins were made of by chipping their corners off. Of course, it was illegal. To prevent this kind of fraud, they invented round coins. After that, it instantly became obvious when the coins had been fiddled with. In a supermarket, you pass by a shelf with eggs and try to decide which ones are better, the white ones or the brown ones. There's practically no difference between them. The egg's color depends on the breed of the chicken. These birds produce two different color pigments. You can take eggs of any color because the nutritional components of the eggs are almost the same. So what came first, the brown egg or the white egg? Never mind. It's enough to use a small amount of toothpaste to brush your teeth, the size of a pea. But the ads show that you have to cover the entire toothbrush with paste as a marketing ploy. You see, manufacturers want you to buy a new tube faster. Now, a plane leaves white lines behind in the blue sky thanks to the condensation of carbon dioxide, steam, and burning fuel. In winter, steam comes out of your mouth. The same principle works here. It's always icy at the altitudes where planes are flying. Exhaust and hot air comes out of the turbines. When it collides with cold air, it creates thick lines of steam. Now, chefs' big hats indicate their status in the kitchen. It's kind of like heels. The chef wears the tallest hat. Thanks to it, it's easy to find them in a kitchen among the staff. The number of folds on the hat means the number of ways the chef can cook eggs. Of course, modern kitchens no longer adhere to these traditions. But a hat is still a must. Thanks to it, not a single hair falls into the food, thank goodness. Doctors wear hats for the same reason, to prevent hairs from falling into the patient's soup during surgery. Well, actually, there's no surgical soup. I made that up. They install cameras in shops, banks, and hospitals to monitor everything. If something happens, you can call the police or rescuers. The camera really helps to solve a lot of problems. So, why are there no cameras on planes? The crew keeps order on the plane, but they won't be able to do anything if something serious happens. Besides, there's nowhere to run on the plane. During the flight, the cameras are useless. And after the flight, the words of the passengers work ideally instead of cameras. So, if cameras do no good, then why spend money on them? Now, almost all hotels have white bed sheets. They choose this color specifically to show how high their standards of cleanliness are. The white and brighter the sheets are, the more luxurious the hotel seems. It's much easier to see dirt and stains on white linen. It's like proof that you've checked into a clean room. Ever wonder why a computer mouse is called like that? Well, in 1968, Douglas Engelbard of Stanford Research Institute introduced the computer mouse. He couldn't remember why it was called like that. 
The reason was probably that this little device with a wire really looks like a mouse with a tail. Gasoline looks like a rainbow in a puddle because it can't mix with water. It forms a thin membrane over it. When light reflects from it and the water at the same time, you've got a rainbow. Now, they make magnets shaped as horseshoe because this increases the magnetic force. Colors matter too. The blue part indicates the south pole, the red part, the north pole. The two poles work simultaneously and increase the attraction force. Now, that do not disturb sign on your hotel room door is not a requirement, but just a suggestion. Maids and staff have the right to go there if they suspect something's wrong, especially if you don't remove the sign for 24 hours. Why do clocks go to the right? The sun is the main reason. In ancient times, when people invented the sundial, the sun's shadow was moving to the right in the northern hemisphere and to the left in the southern hemisphere. Mechanical clocks were first invented in the northern hemisphere, so it always goes right. Or as we now say, clockwise. Diamonds have such symmetrical shapes to show you their brilliance. Initially, the gems aren't so beautiful. They go through several stages of cutting and then become pieces of elegance. Most of these stones have a round shape with slightly pointed corners. Diamonds shine the brightest in this shape. So why are there two holes in the socket? The left hole is neutral, the right hole is hot, and the gap underneath is ground. Electricity needs to flow through the chain. The current flows from the hot slot, passes through your phone charger, for example, and then goes through the neutral hole. Now, ever wondered what that small pocket on your jeans is for? Well, people used to wear watches on chains. A small pocket was meant for it. Now, almost no one wears such a watch, but the pocket remains. You can keep something small like a ring in there. The lollipop stick has two holes for a good reason. When they put the stick in hot syrup, the liquid flows through these holes. It helps hold the lollipop tightly on the stick when it's completely solidified. Now, the pen cap has two small holes, too. They created it so you don't suffocate if you accidentally swallow the cap. Good thing. All the same, keep the cap out of your mouth. Now, why did people start to wear a tie? That all goes back to the 17th century Europe. They invented a tie to tighten a collar. It protected soldiers from the cold wind blowing on their necks. But King Louis XIII liked this element of clothing so much he made it a must-have accessory for royal gatherings. The little piece of fabric you find in your new clothes, often with a button on it, isn't for emergency hole patching. You can use it to test if the material fades or stains in the wash before you get the whole thing in and can seriously damage it. The drawer at the bottom of your stove will keep your food warm for when you throw a party and have to cook plenty of dishes. The one that's currently in the oven will pass on its heat to the one in the drawer. In case you never know how much pasta to put in for boiling, use the hole in the middle of your pasta spoon for reference. It measures up to exactly one portion of dry noodles. When it's ready, you can use the spoon to take your spaghetti out like you normally would. The large gaps between the floor and the door in public toilets are there to make you feel uncomfortable and leave faster. It's also easier to clean such spaces and safer in case of emergency. The tiny plastic disc under the lid of your soda bottle is there to keep your drink fizzy. The cap prevents the liquid from leaking out, and the plastic disc holds the gases inside. Don't try to clean your shoes with escalator brushes. They are there to mark the edges of the steps. If you get too close to the edge, you risk getting your shoelaces or loose hanging clothes in the gap between the stairs and the wall. When you feel the brush on your leg, you instinctively step back into safety. There are several theories explaining why the King of Hearts is the only one without a mustache. One says he was designed as part of a poem. The king had four sons, and only one was cleanly shaven. He left him with no inheritance. Another theory says the mustache was just lost in the reproduction of the original design because of a mistake. It could also be a way to show that he is more honest and noble than the other kings. The Ace of Spades is larger and better decorated than the others because of tax laws introduced in England around the 17th century.
card manufacturers had to pay so-called stamp duty tax. They added physical stamps on the highest card of the deck to show that they've paid the tax. The tradition to decorate the Ace of Spades in such a way remained even after the tax had been cancelled. A jerry can can hold its contents even in the craziest of roads. Its triple barred handle across the top is designed to make sure the fuel inside is evenly distributed when two people are carrying it and hold on to it on either side. When you're doing it solo, use the middle handle to make things easier. The loops sticking out on the back of your boots are there to help you pull them on easier. Pull them up while you're trying to push your heel into the boot. You can also use them to hang your boots on the hook to dry after washing or when they're dirty. Or you can run the laces through them to tie them around your ankles. Most metallic zippers have little hidden groove locks inside to keep you from getting into some awkward situations. To help it do its job, don't leave the zipper handle in an upward position. It automatically locks when you pull it downwards. The strings on a pack of cotton pads are there to let you hang it on something. Tear the perforated line at the bottom of the pack to pull the pads out easier. The blue bristles on most toothbrushes are there to remind you when it's time to get a new one. When they fade, you gotta hit the store. When you get a new car or rent a vehicle while traveling, the little arrow on the gas pump will save you a bunch of time. It shows which side of the car the tank is on. You don't have to tear off one of the ends of stick sachets of sugar or salt. Instead, tear them down the middle. It's much easier and will leave you with fewer bits of paper. Bottles have long necks to let you enjoy your cold drink. Hold the neck instead of the body of the bottle and the magic will work for you. The same is with fancy glasses. Hold it by the stem and you won't heat it with your hand. Doorknobs are often made of brass, bronze, or some other copper alloys to protect you from harmful bacteria. These materials have the superpower of getting rid of germs on their own within a couple of hours. You can use metal loops on the sides of a grocery cart to organize your space smarter. Hang your jacket or a bag of delicate items like eggs or bread on the loop, and voila, your jacket won't get wrinkled and the eggs won't get squished. Twist your pop can tab around and use the hole on the other end to put a straw through it. The special oval-shaped compartment under the flap of the Tic Tac container is there to make it easier to extract one little mint at a time. Your earphones have holes in the bottoms to let air circulate up and down through the speakers. It improves sound quality and gives you better low frequencies, making the bass sound deeper. The black lines on the basketball are there to make the game easier to play. They're actually grooves helping you handle the ball. Control is crucially important for players that need to move around the court while bouncing the ball. The black lines give you a better grip of the ball. They also let you easily steer it in any direction once it's in your hand. You wouldn't be able to do it with a smooth basketball. The microwave door seems completely black when you aren't using it, but as soon as you turn it on, you can see through it. It doesn't have black glass in it, but a special mesh against regular glass. It keeps all the microwave energy inside safely. Don't throw away silica gel you find in bags, shoes, and many other new things you buy. This gel absorbs excess moisture. A few packets can save your shoes after a walk in the rain. Bath foam has an important function in addition to its delicious smell. It helps regulate the water temperature and keeps it nicely warm for longer. It only works for acrylic bathtubs though. Metal ones lose heat quickly anyway. Crackers have holes in them to stop them cracking and breaking during baking. If the holes weren't there, steam would build up inside the cracker and make it collapse. Take a look at a soda bottle and you'll notice a disc inside the bottle cap. This helps seal in the liquid and the drinks fizz, stopping it from going flat. The long neck on your soda bottle is designed like that to encourage you to hold it there. That way, the heat from your hand will only warm that top bit of the bottle instead of heating up your whole drink. It's always hard to see your food in the microwave because of that pesky black grate on the window, but it's there to stop harmful microwaves from escaping. Called the Faraday Shield, it protects you as well as ensures that your food cooks properly. Food items like chips come with about 43% nitrogen inside their package. It might seem like they sell you half a bag of air, but it's exactly the opposite. Oxygen, the gas we breathe, would react with the chips inside the bag and make them go rancid quickly. It's called oxidizing for a reason. 
Nitrogen, on the other hand, is an inert gas that helps keep the foodstuffs fresh and also protects them from breaking during transportation. A bag of chips that has this gas cushion lets you enjoy your crunchies without them turning to potato crumbs. Donuts have holes in them so that the inside and outside cook evenly. Before the holes were added, the inside would often be greasy and doughy while the outside was crisp. Margins on paper aren't for writing in dates and numbering lists. They were originally added to serve a protective function. Back in the day, rats used to be a pesky problem in people's homes, and paper was one of their favorite snacks. Margins were added as a safeguard so that the rats would nibble on blank paper, rather than taking a bite out of your important work. That hole in your hollow lollipop stick isn't to prevent choking should it ever be swallowed. It's actually there to keep the candy in place. Excess candy flows into the hollow tube, and the hole, which when it hardens, keeps the pop in place. If it was a smooth stick, the candy would slide off easily. Vacuums come with so many attachments, but do any of us really know what that one with long bristles is for? It's for dusting and is perfect for cleaning framed art, blinds, and lampshades. What's the difference between a wooden hanger and a plastic one? Aside from helping keep your clothes in shape, cedar wood hangers also repel moths and bugs. Salt isn't just used for cooking, it can get rid of tough smells. Rubbing salt on your fingertips after chopping garlic should remove the smell. It also works on shoes. Toasters have a secret slide in the bottom that can be removed, so you can clean out all those annoying breadcrumbs. If you ever had problems with popping chocolates from the box, look at those little holes around them. They're there to help you. If you push a hole right next to the candy, it'll jump out easily. When you take a sip from a coffee cup with a lid, it decreases air pressure inside the cup, so air tries to get in. The tiny hole on the lid allows air to enter that way, so liquid can smoothly pour out the main hole. More on beverage lids. The small button on them let restaurant workers, and customers too, understand what's in a cup. Near each button, there's a name. Just look at which one is pushed down. The numbers on the fruit stickers tell you how exactly they were grown. If there are four digits and the first is four or three, the fruit has been sprayed with pesticides. If there are five digits and the first is nine, the fruit has been grown organically. If there are five digits and the first is eight, the fruit has been genetically modified. When you're on your way back to the car after bagging up everything you bought, use loops on a shopping cart to hang the bags. Now, softer items like bread, eggs, fruit, and veggies won't get squashed by the heavier goods. If you don't have anyone to hold the other end of your tape measure when you try to measure something, tap a nail on it. Now, simply hook your tape on it using the tiny hole all tape measures have. The square-shaped spoon that goes with a McFlurry helps to mix the ice cream toppings through the dessert. The spoon hooks directly to a machine and spins around. Padlocks that are used outside quickly get out of order because of rain. See this little hole in the bottom? It's made for pouring engine oil inside. Do this and the key will again turn in the lock without any difficulty. You keep banging the bottom of a glass ketchup jar, but nothing's coming out. Here's a little tip. Turn your ketchup bottle at an angle and tap on the middle of the neck. In many fast food restaurants, customers fill tiny folded paper cups to get a portion of ketchup or mustard. Here's the news. The cups are supposed to unfold and turn into small paper platters to hold a great deal more sauce. That little hole on the handle of a pot or a frying pan isn't just for hanging them on the wall. During cooking, put the end of your utensil in the hole, and it'll be propped over the pot to save your kitchen from extra mess. The blue or any other dark color bristles on your toothbrush are meant to remind you when it's time to get a new one. If you see that bristles have become pale, change the toothbrush or its head. Many modern cars have color-coded engines, so you don't have to be a mechanic to find your way around them. The color-coded bits are usually marked yellow, blue, red, and green color. 
These are the things that you should keep an eye on between services, such as the dipstick, oil cap, coolant, brake fluid, and washer fluid. Pretty much leave all the black and gray stuff to the experts. Cutting cherry tomatoes can be a tedious task. One tomato at a time. There is a quicker way to do it. Try placing a bunch of them between two plates. Hold the top plate and carefully cut between them with your knife. Perfectly cut cherry tomato halves. Many color printers have added dots to printed documents without anyone even knowing they're there. They become more visible when magnified and photographed with the help of a blue LED flashlight. The position of the dots reveals the time, date, and a serial number of the device used during the printing. Next time you're on a plane and get the aisle seat, look for the hidden button on the armrest. Feel around near the hinge at the back and you should find a button. This releases the armrest lock, instantly allowing it to swing up. Once it's level with your seat, it won't press into your side anymore. It'll also give you more room to move your legs around. Flight crews are known to use a system of chimes and bells to communicate across the entire plane. These chime messages could be about anything from the number of remaining snacks, turbulence ahead, or a storm upcoming on the flight path. Sometimes the chimes can be a signal from the cockpit to alert a route change or an emergency. Fonts that we use to print documents actually used to be named after their creators. Garamond was named after its creator, Claude Garamond, a famous French printer who was commissioned by the King of France to create a new font. His font became the stock standard until the 18th century. Garamond is still one of the most economical fonts to use to save ink while printing. Nintendo Switch cartridges have a hidden safety feature that stops people from sticking them in their mouths. That's an issue? Eh, apparently. Although non-toxic, denatonium benzoate coats the cartridge in a sour, peppery, and bitter substance to prevent people from swallowing them. Being one of the most bitter flavors known to humanity, it's commonly used to keep people from consuming things they're not meant to. A vegetable peeler isn't just for peeling potatoes, zucchini, or carrots. Try shaving onion for thin slices. This will speed up the process before getting teary-eyed. Perfect thin slices of cheese can also be achieved with the peeler. The eagle on the back of the dollar bill has 13 stars above it to represent the first 13 colonies. But that's not the only 13. There are 13 arrows, 13 olive branch leaves, 13 olive fruits, 13 stars above the eagle, 13 steps of the pyramid, and 13 bars on the shield. Strangely, but probably just a coincidence, the words Anuit Sepsis and E Pluribus Unum also have 13 letters. Lemons can be used as a deodorant, air freshener, polish, bug repellent, hair lightener, and to help rice not stick to the rice cooker or pot. Just add a little squeeze into the cooker before turning it on. How about that? Oh, and they also make pretty good lemonade, too. Copper and brass items start to look a little bit tarnished over time. Use some ketchup and salt to bring back that shine. Place the mixture into a rag and rub it into whatever needs that sparkle again. Cover every bit of the surface, then simply rinse off and dry. Forget trying to break your nails trying to open key rings again. Grab a staple remover, the one that looks like a mouth, and wedge its teeth between the coils to open it up easily. If the key, or whatever you're putting on there, still won't fit, just push down further until it's wide enough. Tap the home button three times on an iPhone to turn it into a convenient magnifying glass. Use the slider to control the zoom, and it even has an optional flashlight if you need it in the dark. Perfect for reading tiny print, finding interesting tiny insects, or maybe even looking closely at jewelry. Microwavable instant rice packets can fall over if not placed properly. Pull out the bottom flaps for a sturdier base and to cook that rice better. An easy, cheap, and environmentally safe way to start seedlings is to save your toilet paper rolls. Cut the tubes in half and place them on a suitable tray. Fill them up with potting soil and seeds and start watering. Once the seeds have germinated, you can just place them into the soil with the tube. It'll break down quickly. Windows 10 has a lot of hidden secrets and useful tools for users that aren't used enough, such as the Task Manager, Device and Disk Management, and File Explorer. 
Instead of searching around, just right-click on the Windows button or use Windows key plus X to bring up the menu. Quickly minimize all windows except the active one without using the Show Desktop function. With Windows 10, all that's needed is to grab the window by its title bar and give it a good old shake. All inactive windows will minimize and won't close the window that's open. A pudding or applesauce with no spoon doesn't need to be a tragedy. Don't worry, there's a hidden trick with a foil. It can be turned into a quick spoon by folding it into one. Better than using your fingers, huh? So how do you feel about public restrooms? Dread? <laughs> Thought so. But have you ever wondered why toilet stall doors rarely reach all the way to the floor? Well, it turns out there's not one, but several fully valid reasons for not enclosing bathroom stalls. Some of them are obvious, while others turned out to be unexpected. Ready to take the plunge? Here we go! If a person loses consciousness or has some other urgent medical condition in a fully enclosed stall, it could take hours until someone notices it. And as you know, there are emergencies when every minute counts. On the other hand, if there's a gap between the floor and the door of a bathroom stall, other visitors will immediately notice a person who's passed out. On top of that, in this case, there's no need to break down the door, since a medical worker can slip under it through the gap and unlock it from the inside. Space below the stall door helps visitors to see that there's someone inside and prevents people from barging in on another person. You know how it works. You see someone's feet inside the stall, you look for another unoccupied toilet, or you wait your turn. Besides, when public bathroom doors don't reach the floor, it prevents unnecessary lines. People can calculate in their heads how much time they'll need to spend on waiting for an unoccupied stall and decide whether they're ready to wait or they'd rather look for another public restroom. Now, fully enclosed stalls are more likely to provide you with an unforgettable gag-inducing experience since it isn't so easy to get rid of the smells inside. Open stalls, on the contrary, have much better ventilation, which is essential when it comes to public bathroom stalls. Thanks to air circulation, bad smells dissipate faster, but still not fast enough for me. A bit more obvious, and probably one of the most common reasons, is that not fully enclosed bathroom stalls are cheaper. First, to produce a door in such a stall, less material is needed. Therefore, it costs less to make, to buy, and to install this door, which is one of the most crucial things for a business owner. In addition, simple stall divisions are way easier. They don't depend on the height of the ceiling or the evenness of the floor. But if you decide to order floor-to-ceiling stalls, it will require much more effort such as custom fitting and precise cutting. For many businesses, all this trouble doesn't make any financial sense. Leaving a gap under a bathroom stall door discourages all kinds of inappropriate behavior. Psychologically, the less protected and enclosed a person feels, the less likely they are to do something harmful and risky. And if a public toilet stall reaches all the way to the floor, it allows people to feel like they're in private. As a result, they won't hesitate to, let's say, draw graffiti or damage the stall in any other way. Also, with a gap under the door, other visitors will notice somebody who's causing trouble and stop this activity right away. It's next to impossible to get out of a fully enclosed bathroom stall on your own once the lock jams. You'd be trapped inside and must call for help. On the contrary, when a toilet has a gap under the door in case of an emergency, you can easily escape by crawling under it. Imagine the nightmarish situation when, after doing your business, you suddenly realize there's no toilet paper in your stall. Ew. Unfortunately, if at that moment you're in a fully enclosed stall, no one can save you. But if you've been lucky enough to experience this tragic problem in a stall with a gap under the door, you can swallow your embarrassment and ask your neighbor to save the day by handing over some paper. Have you ever had any embarrassing moments like this in a public restroom? Let me know down in the comments! Fully enclosed stalls give visitors a cozy feeling of isolation. They cut out the noise of heavy bathroom traffic, and as a result, people lose the sense of others who are waiting for their turn. They get more relaxed and spend longer on taking care of their business. But when a bathroom stall isn't entirely enclosed, visitors tend to feel more rushed, 
which speeds up the traffic and gets rid of bathroom lines. And the last, and probably the most apparent reason for leaving the gap, is that it makes bathrooms easier to clean. A custodian can simply run their mop under the doors instead of wasting time on opening and closing each of them. You can imagine what a time saver it is if a bathroom is large. The same goes for power cleaning the floor. When there's more open space for water to flow, cleaning becomes faster and more efficient. Boy, file this stuff away for when you're at a party and you are surrounded by obnoxious people who won't let you get a word in edgewise. Simply jump in with some of these public restroom facts and watch how fast you can clear the room. Okay, okay, now I get it. Yes, I promise I will never complain about gaping holes under public bathroom stall doors ever again. But here's another question that intrigues me. Why do most bathroom main entry doors open inwards? I mean that when you enter, you must push the door, and when you leave, you pull it. But wouldn't it make more sense if it were vice versa? This way, you wouldn't have to touch the door handle with your freshly washed hands as you exit. Just push it with your shoulder and you're free. Even though it's not true about all public bathrooms, to exit most of them, you must touch the doorknob. What gives? Well, first, it prevents the door from blocking the hallway. Imagine there's high bathroom traffic. As a result, if the door was of the push-to-exit type, it would take even more space and make people who walk down the hallway crowd at the door. Also, next to many public toilets, there are closets, drinking fountains, and other utilities. And a door that opens outward would cause a lot of inconvenience to those who need to use these amenities. Plus, can you imagine how hard it would be to navigate the hallway if there's an emergency? Bathroom doors shouldn't hinder or block the movement in case of an evacuation. Another reason to have push-to-enter doors in public bathrooms is safety. First, these doors have both the lock and hinges on the inside. Therefore, no one can lock you in the bathroom. And secondly, if a bathroom had a push-to-exit door, by opening it a bit too fast, well, you could hurt someone who's walking past the doorway at that moment. Also, doors that open inward help to handle unpleasant smells, which aren't rare for public bathrooms. The thing is that when you open the door in the bathroom, some fresh outside and non-smelly air gets sucked inside and helps to dissipate the bad smells. As for a door's opening outward, the pattern would be the opposite. The smelly air would be constantly sucked out of the bathroom, 